Ashe everyone, welcome. We're trying something different here. Different layout, a little bit more relaxed. I've already meditated, I've already prayed. Have not worked out, maybe tomorrow. As you can hear, you can hear the frequency of abundance, 999. Just want you to relax, you know, feel the vibe. Shake all the stress off. Shake all that worry out. Swing your arms back and forth. Hug yourself. That's right. Hug yourself. Take a couple of deep breaths. In. for good measure. All right. Y'all know what the deal is. To my new subs, hey, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. To my OGs, y'all know I love y'all. To my TikTokers, it's all made possible because of you guys. Blessings. Blessings on your houses. All right. That being said, we're getting closer and closer to my goal. 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Ashe, thank you. I appreciate you. Chopping it up with me in the chat. I appreciate you. Chopping up with me in the comments. I appreciate you. Watching the videos in the playlist. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your blessings. And allow me to bless you with the video that you came here to receive. That being said, let's talk about it. This is one of the most dangerous, covert narcissists out there. This narcissist is a sibling, a coworker, close coworker, or a friend in the friend group you have. This person comes off like a pretty well-balanced person but they're very quiet. They keep to themselves. Don't really look into anything because you don't really care. But you get a weird vibe about them, but they don't seem menacing or anything. Hmm. That's where you make the mistake. The puppet master narcissist. This is the worst or one of the worst and most dangerous narcissists out there. They triangulate. Oh yeah, that's how they work. Their entire ploy is triangulation. This is how this uh, puppet master works. <clears throat> They're the one that's always putting a battery in someone's back. <laughs> you know, you never really get to have any kind of altercation with the puppet master. But best believe they don't like you. They cannot stand you. They are the sibling that competes with you the most that you don't know about. They're the coworker that competes with you the most that you don't know about. They're that friend and that friend group that competes with you the most that you don't know about. Reason being, they'll put a battery in somebody's back and send them after you. And with so many people coming after you from this person, you never know who the puppet master is. Huh? I'm gonna give you the tools that should be able to help you figure out who this super sneaky person is in your group. It's kind of hard to figure them out. You might be left not never knowing who the real puppet master is because the puppet master can use other narcs. Oh yeah, yeah. They will Karen a Karen, which is another name I have for a narcissist. They will Karen a Karen. Hmm. Ain't that crazy? This puppet master. Listen, there's only, I believe, one or two ways to figure out who this is. The way number one is they tell themselves. You know, the narcissist, no matter what kind of narc they are, they always tell themselves. That's one. Um, two is, it's kind of tricky. 
but I believe this works. And if you guys disagree, please, like you've been doing, um, leave me a comment. They're the friend or the family member or the coworker, the only one that gets along with everybody. Think about it. Give it some thought. There should be no one that gets along with everybody, but just, there's that one person that you can think of that has found a way to get along with everybody. Then you found your puppet master, Covert. Oh yeah. That's that one that you just can't seem to put a finger on. It's the one that gets along with everybody. Everybody has good things to say about them. Um, they always have minions, you know, and they go to church, everything like that. They're, they're uh, competent at their jobs. Um, they just don't seem to have a partner. They're always single or divorced or something like that. But no one ever looks into them because everybody gets along with them because they get along with everybody by the way it seems. I would pretty much figure that they pretty much talk about everybody to everybody individually, but no one thinks to bring it up because this uh, narcissist puppet master is putting batteries in backs and really knows how to uh, keep the head low and keep it moving. I'm telling you how to, it's that one that gets along with everybody because there should be no one that gets along with everybody, but this would be the one that gets along with everybody. Yeah. And I'm telling you, that's it. That's it, that's the way to identify. And this puppet master, they're sneaky. <laughs> they are sneaky. But you know what? Your discernment is better. And what you're gonna do is identify this puppet master and you never call out a narcissist. You just love them from a distance. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Even though I'm super tired and it's after 12, it doesn't matter. I love making this content. I'm going to keep bringing it to you guys in different formats. So let's chop it up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think the puppet master narcissist is one of the most dangerous covert narcissists? <clears throat> I like to know. All right. I'll talk to you guys on live. You know how we do here. You know what I mean? We're all about full fitness. Here, we're about getting your mental fitness, your physical fitness, and your spiritual fitness right. Right? All about healing, moving forward. And there it is. Love y'all, and I'll talk to you soon.